In this video, we will explain you what discounted cash flow is. Imagine Easy Finance is interested in purchasing a company. However, Easy Finance is not sure what he should pay for this company, since he knows for sure he is not willing to pay more than the company's worth. One way to determine the value of the company is the discounted cash flow method. Currently, the company generates a free cash flow of 10 million euros. Therefore, the company has 10 million euros for dividends, paying back credits extraordinarily, etc. The free cash flow is the money the shareholders can determine what it is used for. However, the free cash flow will change in future. According to the forecast, the company will generate 11 million euros in free cash flow in the next two years each. In three years, due to high investments, the free cash flow will be zero. Afterwards, it is forecasted to be 15 million and 20 million euros. However, what is the money earned in the future worth today? It is the same question as if somebody offered you to choose if you prefer getting 100 euros today or 110 euros in one year. To answer this question, it is important to know what your individual discount rate is. Imagine if you would get 1% interest on the 100 euros. Then your discount rate would be 1%. Thus, the 110 euros in one year are now worth 108 euros and 91 cents. Therefore, 110 years in one year is today worth more than 100 euros now. Consequently, it would be better to choose 110 euros in one year. When discounting cash flows, one does the same with discounting the free cash flows. For this calculation, it is necessary to determine the discount rate. The discount rate is normally calculated with the WAG method, so the weighted average cost of capital. The weighted average cost of capital is the sum of the product of the share of the equity to the total asset multiplied with the cost of equity and the product of the share of the debt to the total assets multiplied with the cost of debt. The cost of debt is the interest the company has to pay on its debt. The tax shield is very important in this calculation, since the interest paid on the debt can be deducted from taxes. Therefore, debt is relatively cheaper due to this tax effect. In order to consider this tax shield, one adjusts the cost of debt by multiplying the cost of debt with 1 minus tax rate. When using the numbers of the company, so 50 million equity, 100 million debt, and when assuming that the cost of equity are 15%, the cost of debt are 5%, and the corporate tax rate is 30%, the discount rate is 7.33%. When knowing the discount rate, one can calculate the present value of the future free cash flows. This value is called net present value or NPV. For example, the 20 million in 5 years have a present value of 14.04 million euros when using a discount rate of 7.3%. Adding all the net present values up, the value of the future free cash flows of the next 5 years is 55.16 million euros today. However, how does one consider that the company will probably not stop working after 5 years? since most likely it will continue working and therefore continue producing free cash flows. This effect is called terminal value. The terminal value is calculated with this formula. One multiplies the free cash flow of the final year of projection with the long-term cash flow growth rate. This product is divided with the difference of the discount rate and the long-term cash flow growth rate. Assuming that the free cash flow growth rate is 4%, the terminal value is 624 million euros. Howsoever, one has to consider that receiving the terminal value will only start in 5 years. Therefore, one has to discount the terminal value as well, in order to receive its current value. After discounting the terminal value, it is today 138 million euros worth. Adding up the net present value of the free cash flow of the next 5 years and the terminal value, the company is worth 493.16 million euros. This value is called the enterprise value. However, if Easy Finance buys the company, he also buys the debt. So he has to pay back the debt as well. Therefore, one has to withdraw the debt from the enterprise value to receive the fair value of the company. The company has 100 million in debt and therefore the fair value is 393.16 million euros. However, there is one more thing to say, since there are several different methods of the discounted cash flow. 
one differentiates between the entity and the equity method. The equity method is also called flow to equity and only considers the payments the buyer receives. However, this method is hardly ever used. The entity methods calculate the value of the company and adjust this value with the fact of the debt financing. All the entity methods should have the same result. They only use different ways. Since the WAG method is most commonly used, we explained the discount cash flow with this method. We hope you enjoyed this video. In case you did, hit like and subscribe our channel. Goodbye.